to good to him outside. It's a beautiful morning out here. We're going to play some baseball <laughs> out here next to the Good Day Garden. Steven, you're suited up and ready to go. I'm taking it back 150 years to play this beautiful game called baseball. We're joined this morning by Jeanette Smith from Sauda Village and also Kevin Neves of the Great Black Swamp Vintage Baseball Team. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Kevin, let's start off with this. Let's talk about the uniforms. <laughs> uniforms, yeah, fantastic. So uh, what you see here is some pretty uh, vintage appropriate uniforms. A lot of the uniforms that people wore were stuff that they could just wear after work. Mm. Normally you'd put a crest on your shirt to tell which team you were on. There were no professional ball players, so they were doing it just for fun. Yeah, I love that. And uh, this, this game was played a lot differently back then, too. What were some of the rules that were different <laughs> than what we see in the modern day game? Yeah, so a lot of the rule differences, it would still be recognizable as baseball, right? You've got a ball, you've got a bat, there's a pitcher. The pitcher's job, for example, was to just put the ball into play. There was no strikeouts. You weren't trying to throw curveballs, any of that stuff. Uh, most teams play what we call bound rule, meaning you could catch the ball on one bounce and it's still an out because okay. we don't have gloves. So Makes sense. <laughs> A little bit of safety. Um, problem is that you could be ungentlemanly, let the ball just bounce, even if it's going to be an easy pop fly. Right. Mm. Fair foul rule was the other big one. As long as the ball lands in fair territory, it's good. So you have players who just hit the ball right in front of home plate, and it bounces 30 feet to the left of third base, <laughs> and at no point could you ever line up in foul territory. So I can tell you, as third baseman, I'm going to hit it 30 feet past the third base, and you go, can't do anything about it. Wow. So that's why the modern fair rule is the way it is now. Oh, I'm strategy. I think I, I think I like that a yeah, little bit, the yeah. way the game has evolved a bit. So, uh, Jeanette, we're, we're going to play this game right. at Sauter Village this weekend, right? Right. This Saturday, September 23rd, is our vintage baseball tournament. We're going to have three teams coming, Elkhart County Railroaders out of Elkhart, Indiana, the Black Swamp Frogs, Kevin's team is coming out of Sylvania, and the Sauter Village has their own windmill team. <laughs> so we're hoping to win the grand prize trophy. It's a Sauter Village windmill made by our tinsmith and we hope to take home the trophy it looks like this team has the trophy this year but <laughs> from last year so we're hoping so you got to get it back the games are at 11 1 and 3 at Souter village on saturday and that's included with your historic village admission so we hope people will come out we'll have bleachers set up it's out in the pasture out by our 1920s main street and we just want people to come out and have fun and enjoy vintage baseball at love that so it, three it different does sound options fun. yeah for yeah. people get a chance to to, to to see the game play um are you going to play, Steven? I want to. So what should I do? Should I try to, should I pitch? Should I hit? I'll, I'll pitch. Okay. If you want to hit. Okay. So not the most accurate bat, but it is a wooden bat. Okay. So we always use wooden bats. Okay. I'm going to get out of Steven's right. way. So. Well, yeah, let's, let's so run. From the underhand, it's like, it's basically like a softball. All right. Oh boy. Okay. What could go wrong here? That was a half a swing we'll, we'll on purpose. We'll call that a home run. Yeah, I'll take it. We'll Look call at that. that a home run. That's so, pretty good, and we'll make you go chase that later, too. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so, Jeanette, uh, tell us, uh, why is it so special that people get an opportunity to see the game of baseball uh, reenacted and played this way? Well, Sauter Village is all about history, and this is the history from the 1860s. We want to show how the game was played. We don't want to wear gloves. We want to do it official how they did it back in the uh, vintage baseball era. So. Yeah. Very cool to see it that way. Kevin, you are a professor, right? Yeah. Is this something that you've studied, or how did you get into it? <laughs> I got into it just because I love baseball. I've been going to, so I grew up in New England. I've been going to Red Sox games ever since I was seven years old with my dad. Um, and watching the history and, and really getting an appreciation for it. I used to play for a team out of Rhode Island, um, moved here, found out there was a local team, and got involved with it. And now I'm taking over as the president of the team. And it's a lot of fun <laughs> to pass this on to the, younger, to the younger generation and to just watch people have an appreciation for the game that they might not know the history and how right. it's evolved. Has uh, playing the game like this, has it built your appreciation for the game? Oh, absolutely. And in what way? So you get a, you, like you said, the rule changes earlier. Those happen for a reason. And we just went through that with baseball, with the bigger yeah. bases and the pitch mm -hmm. clock. And you can mm -hmm. see how the game evolves. And you see the pushback that a lot of people had with the game 
in, in relation to those changes. Uh, so it's just really nice to to see it, and then you get an appreciation for you know Babe Ruth hitting 60 home runs back you know before <laughs> right. steroids were a thing. Right. <laughs> right. So it's nice to see that and, and, and really understand just how different the game was mm -hmm. and how far it's come. We still love it. Yeah. Yes, we do. and we're winding down on, on the season, so a great way to end you know summer and in baseball season. So tell us again, uh, are you all open for the season still at Sauter Village? We are open Wednesday through Saturday until October 28th, and we're open 10 to 3:30 weekdays and 10 to 5 on Saturday. So we need some players. If you guys want to come oh, out okay. on Saturday, okay. we'll take a couple more players. I think on each team. I, I think Stephen did pretty good. Yeah. Right? And, and, and you know what? I want to see your swing, Amanda. Oh. Is that okay? Uh, is that okay? Yeah. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take this from you. This okay. is all right. Let's see. Are you gonna throw it? I am. Underhand. Oh boy. Let's see what the batting stance is like. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Just don't hit a line drive right at me. All right. I'll try. Uh, Kevin's gonna catch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a bat on the ball. Right? She did. She did. There you go. Yeah, I got to work on that. You yeah. might not want me on your team. I think you did okay. We can we can practice a yeah, little bit. Yeah, we can make it work. We'll, we'll <laughs> practice during the commercial break. We'll be back with more good day. Let's try it out again. Yeah, let's try that again. Let's I need it. a do-over.